How you doing today, my friends? Mr. Green here, and uh, today we are going to start another project. Um, there's going to be some more, lots more projects before winter starts, or in probably about a month, we'll uh, start getting cold and crappy weather here. Um, so what I'm doing is I um, am going to make a plow for the front of my tractor. Um, So this is the uh, plow blade. Um, it's a seven foot plow that I had on my old Ford F-150 uh, about six, seven years ago I bought this plow. Um, then it went on a tractor, then it went on to a skid steer. And uh, so it's been hacked and it's been used and abused, but uh, the cutting edge is still decent on it. So I'm going to uh, have to build a whole new mounting system for the front of the tractor because I don't want it sticking out that far from the front of the tractor because of the weight of it. And uh, we'll see, I may end up cutting it down, uh, you know, six, uh, probably a foot total, so maybe six inches on either side. Haven't decided yet, but uh, so we'll uh, get it pulled out of the uh, trailer here and uh, we'll start laying out a design. Okay, well I got it off and into, uh, I just made this, put this little little makeshift shed together uh, just so I have somewhere to work out of the rain. It's off and on rain all day and it's supposed to be all week. So anyways, um, so plan of action. Okay, um, just kind of going over some ideas right now. Um, right now it's got this where it can pivot inside this angle which was never a good design in the first place. Uh, it busted through right here and kept popping out. I remember that years ago. Um, and the distance from the front of the forks is just way too big. Like, I mean, that's, I don't know, three feet from the blade to where it would actually attach. So I'm thinking I'm gonna shorten that down. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this is the plan right now. We'll, we'll see if it changes, but I'm gonna cut it, cut these a lot shorter, kind of maybe around this point here. I'm gonna weld up a plate for the front of the machine, uh, then weld these to that plate, and then uh, add some gussets and, sorry, you probably can't even see this, uh, add some gussets and stuff up here just to strengthen it. Um, and then I'm gonna leave uh, then we'll cut this one down shorter and then have it so that uh, it can lock in. I'll probably put a plate across here to lock these two together in uh, certain positions. But uh, we're going to kind of wing it uh, as I go because that's how I like to roll. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to start disassembling this. And then once we get it uh, semi apart, we'll uh, start cutting and laying out and uh, see how things go. Okay, guys. Well, I uh, decided I'm just going to build a new, a new frame right from scratch for this thing, uh, for the blade, because using the old stuff, that one and that one, uh, first of all, it's tubing, round tubing, which is a lot harder to work with, and uh, I've got a bunch of this uh, inch and three-quarter square tubing, so I'm going to use it to, uh, to make my frame. So um, right now I'm just working on mitering this at a 45 and that gives me my spacing for the back where it's gonna attach and then we'll add another piece in here and weld it all together um, and then put a plate here and then bolt everything together. So I'm gonna make these couple of cuts here and uh, we'll get putting everything together. Okay guys, well I am pretty much done cutting everything. I've got a couple more corners to knock off of the plates and then uh, I've got everything cleaned up or cleaned up with the uh, flap disc so um, next thing will be to just knock these couple of corners off and then uh, we'll get everything assembled and uh, we'll mark out everything and we'll sh we should get to uh, welding this part together okay guys well we're going to drill the one inch hole now that's going to go through both plates and that will be where the uh, the bolt goes and uh, that'll stop uh, or that'll keep it pretty tight and that's a pretty strong bolt when you get up around uh, one inch. Uh, like even if I, uh, I may put uh, 
a sleeve in it and uh, use the style of bolt. Um, get a grade 8 one um, so that it's nice and strong. But uh, then I can put a sleeve inside there so it can wear. And then I'm going to put a couple of grease points in here that and drill all the way through in between the two plates so that I can pack that full of grease and uh, it'll just help it slide better so um, so anyways I'm gonna get this is what I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use a one inch hole saw <clears throat> metal cutting and I'm just gonna get this the hole uh, centered here with this first and then we'll uh, get started with the other one Okay guys, sorry about the generator noise again. Um, right now I'm just welding everything together. Got the triangle made and now the front plate. Um, just It's taking a long time because my welder overheats uh, and I can only do about four inches of a weld before it overheats and then I gotta stop and wait and let it cool down and then I can go a little bit more. So it's taking a lot longer than I thought and uh, didn't want to bore you guys with that but um, We'll be back here once I get a little bit more welded and then uh, we'll work on fitting the front plate on. So, we'll be right back. Okay guys, now that the generator is off and it's not so loud, um, I, now I have everything together here. Um, and got my holes drilled, got my front plate uh, welded on. Um, now there's just uh, pins, uh, the little slots that I have to weld on that hook onto the blade. Um, and then, uh, this needs to be welded onto that plate. I need to build the John Deere attachments uh, so it'll quick connect to that plate. But uh, it's slowly coming along. I'll show you up here a little closer. So that's the front plate and that's what's gonna attach onto the back of that blade that you see down there on the four points. It'll be down on the two ends and then two in the center. Um, and then I got to get a pin for here, um, and then this is what will be welded to the plate. And as you can see, if I take this off, just another plate underneath. And like I said earlier, I might put a a grease zerk here and a zerk here, and uh, that might help just to keep the grease in between those two. And uh, the bees are really bad. He's trying to sting me. Okay, so uh, so yeah, um, I've got to go run and grab some paint because I want to get the stuff painted before uh, before it rusts even worse. But uh, so we'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, guys. Well, it's the next day. Um, just got back from a friend's place. They uh, they cut the blade down for me. Uh, they cut uh, these things are ribbed on the back, so. I uh, had that cut off and uh, so now I've got to clean up this edge here and uh, we're gonna clean up this whole blade and then we're gonna paint it. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay well I've uh, got it all cleaned up and I got the first two coats on the blade. Um, I'm probably gonna put about four coats on this surface because it's where you know it gets the most amount of wear. So. I'm uh, lightly sanding between coats, putting it on really thin, um, and then I've got like a big blower fan over there blowing across it, and my wood stove just cranked up in here. So um, I'm using a rust coat, a beauty tone rust coat, uh, John Deere green, um, and I'm thinning it down with a Varsol paint thinner. So. Um, now the ratio, I'm just kind of winging it um, to get it thinned down to where my gun will, will shoot it. I've got a Stanley uh, Fat Max <clears throat> uh, spray gun and it works really well, but it likes the paint pretty thin. So that just, it takes longer to dry in between 
uh, coats and stuff, but uh, it's, it is working quite well. So, um, like I said, I got a big blower fan on it, uh, so it doesn't take too, too long, and it's probably, uh, I don't know, 90 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so, yeah. So, um, the other thing is, is uh, I'm working on all of the little uh, pieces that are going to go on the front along there uh, that will actually attach to the blade, so, yeah. Uh, that'll be uh, the next thing on the list. Okay, so I'm working on getting the uh, the holes all drilled to uh, they will go on to the back of the the uh, blade once I get it all finished and flip it over then I can match everything up, tack weld it and then I can finish weld. But yet again it's pouring rain out and uh, so I can't, uh, I can only do so much. So I'm trying to paint what's inside here and then I'll get these holes drilled and then, uh, and then it'll be ready to be put together but not till, uh, for another couple days until everything is nice and dry, probably tomorrow. But uh, so this is gonna be the end of part one of this. Uh, I'll try not to make it too long or too many parts into this video. I just wanna get some videos out but uh, all right, everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video, and uh, please remember to subscribe for, uh, you know, you can catch all the new upcoming videos, and uh, and while you're there, if you could please leave uh, or click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a great day.